As we contemplate the sun, we are aware of its enormous power and the energy it emanates throughout our solar system. It is hard to imagine anything capable of surpassing our sun. Yet beyond our own star lies a cosmic wonder that makes even the mightiest solar giants seem insignificant in comparison. Betelgeuse the red supergiant defies explanation with its enormous diameter irregular pulsations and unpredictable behavior. The star is an enigma to scientists who are still studying its power and potential. As they investigate this magnificent star in depth they have discovered something terrifying. Join us on this journey as we delve into the constellation Orion with the James Webb Space Telescope and explore how Betelgeuse's evolution could change our understanding of stellar life cycles and their impact on the cosmos. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and beyond subscribe to our channel like this video and turn on notifications. Though many people are unaware it is possible to spot Betelgeuse in the night sky during the winter months in the northern hemisphere. Just look up and focus on the constellations Orion and Canis Major to see this dazzling star you can easily locate the reddish-orange star that marks the upper left corner of Orion's rectangular shape. Betelgeuse is one of the largest and brightest stars in the night sky making it difficult to miss. However if you've looked closely you may have noticed that it does not remain constant. In fact, it varies in brightness periodically. This peculiarity is no coincidence. Betelgeuse is no ordinary star. Although to us it may appear to be just another star in the vast firmament, it is located more than 640 light years away. At first glance that distance may not seem impressive, but in cosmic terms it's enormous. To illustrate, if we could travel at the speed of light which is not possible, it would still take us over 640 years to reach it. Using even our most advanced spacecraft, it would take more than 12 million years. That far exceeds the entire history of human civilization. Yet the faintness of Betelgeuse is not only due to its distance. It is what's known as a pulsating red supergiant, an ancient massive star that undergoes expansions and contractions. During these cycles, its brightness can vary over extended periods from tens to hundreds of days. Remarkably, Betelgeuse can oscillate in brightness from near magnitude 0.5 to nearly zero magnitude, making it extremely bright. These changes follow cycles with the shortest lasting 185 days and the longest up to 2,335 days. At times, it can become quite faint. This is referred to as its minimum magnitude. In February 2021, it reached one of its lowest recorded magnitudes, plus 1.614. Although still relatively bright, it was fainter than usual. Betelgeuse is also known for its distinctive reddish color, which is due to its cool surface temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin, much lower than the sun's 5,500 Kelvin. Because of this lower temperature, it emits less energy per unit area, so despite its size, it appears dimmer. Betelgeuse is like a giant content with a low profile. But don't be fooled this supergiant is about 20 times the mass of the sun. That's one reason it has been studied for centuries. It was identified by the ancient Greek astronomer Ptolemy, and its name in Arabic means Orion's armpit. Thanks to modern telescopes, astronomers can now analyze the light Betelgeuse emits to determine its size, temperature, and composition. The Hubble Space Telescope has provided detailed images of its surface, revealing intricate patterns of gas and dust. Betelgeuse has also been studied using the Atacama Large Millimeter Slash Submillimeter Array, ALMA, a state-of-the-art observatory in Chile. ALMA revealed a massive plume of gas extending from the star's surface likely caused by convective pulsations rising hot gas and sinking cool gas which create waves in the star's atmosphere and drive expansion and contraction. Hubble's images have revealed dark regions on the surface of Betelgeuse, so-called star spots or magnetic spots areas of intense magnetic activity where gas flow is inhibited cooling the surface and making them appear darker. Betelgeuse's magnetic field is thought to be thousands of times stronger than the sun's creating massive loops or arcs of trapped gas. These star spots are enormous several times larger than Earth and can cover up to 20% of the star's surface. This combined with the star's pulsations causes the observed variations in brightness. While Betelgeuse is extraordinary, it's not entirely unique. Other red supergiants like Antares in the constellation Scorpius share similar features. Antares is also a variable star with about 12 times the sun's mass and 700 times its radius. One of the most pressing questions about Betelgeuse is whether it's nearing the final chapter of its life. Red supergiants like it are expected to end in a violent supernova, an explosion so powerful it briefly outshines entire galaxies. The unusual dimming events of late 2019 and early 2020 led to speculation that Betelgeuse might soon explode. 
However, further analysis revealed that the dimming was caused by a cloud of dust ejected from the star, not a supernova precursor. Still this was a groundbreaking discovery helping us understand how massive stars shed mass before they die. There's no need to worry it's far enough away, around 64700 light years that the explosion would pose no threat to Earth. But it would be a spectacular sight visible in the daytime sky for weeks or months and at night outshining the full moon. The supernova remnant would linger in the sky for years, even centuries. For astronomers, this would be a once-in-a-lifetime event offering real-time data on stellar explosions, black hole or neutron star formation, and the creation of heavy elements. Whether Betelgeuse ends its life as a neutron star or black hole depends on the mass of its core. It's near the threshold for both possibilities, so scientists aren't sure which outcome will occur. That's why continuous observation is so important. Telescopes around the world and in space, including Hubble ALMA, the James Webb Space Telescope, and ground-based observatories like the Very Large Telescope, are constantly monitoring Betelgeuse's surface brightness gas emission and spectral changes. Though other red supergiants like Antares and Mu Cephei are also enormous and fascinating Betelgeuse holds a special place in the sky. It's close massive, wildly unstable, and serves as a cosmic laboratory for studying the life and death of massive stars. If Betelgeuse were placed at the center of our solar system, it would engulf everything out to Jupiter's orbit. Yet in our night, SkyYP, it remains a faint flickering ember mysterious and powerful cloaked in cosmic enigma. As we gaze at Betelgeuse shimmering in the night sky, we are witnessing a star caught in the final throes of its existence, a cosmic countdown that may end tomorrow or tens of thousands of years from now. This unpredictability is what makes Betelgeuse so compelling. It's a star on the edge, a red giant standing on the precipice of obliteration, and yet it remains stable enough to serve as a beacon of insight into stellar evolution. For scientists, Betelgeuse offers a rare window into the processes that govern the most massive stars in our galaxy, its complex outer atmosphere, vast convection cells, and persistent mass loss help us understand how elements are forged and distributed across space. When Betelgeuse finally goes supernova, it will enrich the surrounding interstellar medium with heavy elements like carbon oxygen and iron the building blocks of planets and life. This is how stars die, but it's also how the universe recycles itself. The calcium in our bones, the iron in our blood, the oxygen we breathe all were created in stars like Betelgeuse then hurled into space by ancient supernovae. When Betelgeuse meets its end, it will contribute once more to this great cosmic cycle. Thanks to cutting-edge technology like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, we can now peer deeper into Betelgeuse's behavior than ever before. JWST's infrared capabilities allow it to see through the dust that obscures optical telescopes revealing the hidden dynamics of the star's mass ejections and energy output. Recent JWST observations have uncovered unexpected asymmetries in the star's outer layers suggesting that Betelgeuse may not be shedding mass evenly. This could hint at underlying magnetic fields or even binary companions influencing its structure adding another layer of mystery to this already enigmatic star. As astronomers prepare for the inevitable supernova, they are also refining early warning systems. Instruments designed to detect neutrinos, nearly massless particles that escape from a star's core during collapse, may give U.S. hours of advance notice before the explosion becomes visible. A flood of neutrinos racing through space at nearly the speed of light will be the first signal that Betelgeuse is dying. When that day comes the world's observatories will turn their attention to Orion. For a brief moment in cosmic time, the death of a single star will captivate humanity uniting scientists and stargazers alike in awe and wonder. And yet, there's something poetic in Betelgeuse's fate. A star born millions of years ago forging elements in its core will one day explode and scatter those elements into space. Some of them may one day form new stars, new planets, and perhaps even new life. In this way, Betelgeuse is not just a dying star. It is a symbol of cosmic rebirth. A reminder that in the vast and often violent universe destruction and creation are inseparable. The end of one star is the beginning of countless possibilities. So the next time you look up and see that reddish glimmer in Orion's shoulder, remember you're not just looking at a star. You're looking at history at destiny at the ashes of ancient stars and the seeds of future world.